Hello, I'm Angela Broughton from holesandblinds.com. I've decided to break my curtain making videos up into three sections. So part one and two are actually making the curtain and then the section three will be broken up into whether you want pinch pleat headings or pencil pleat headings, eyelets, all the various headings. And I've made the curtains just a very small sample length, otherwise um, it takes too long to, to work through. Measure your finished curtain length across the whole width, pin in place, take your heading tape, pull the strings out from the end, and tie it the knot securely and trim off the surplus. Make sure that your curtains, though you'll have a left hand curtain and a right hand curtain, so make sure that the knotted end of the tape is always to the centre of the curtains because the strings, although you'll be putting them into a string tidy or tying a tight nice knot, uh, nevertheless um, they may show on the leading edge of the curtains. So just mitre the corner, just a simple fold type mitre over so you've got a neat edge to take the tape to, fold under and pin the tape to the edge of the curtain but drop down half an inch from the top and it's always a good idea if you can to start the tape where there's going to be a hook because if you, if you have it sort of midway you'll have a flat section of curtain showing that isn't gathered. So pop a pin in, again keeping it at 90 degrees to the hemline. Just a quick tip that I've learnt over the years, it seems simple but always make sure that you've got the hook pocket on the front side or you'll end up having sewn all the way across to find that you've got the position of the hook sewn in onto the face of the curtain and then you'll have to undo the whole thing again. So you need to have in a double row of pins keeping the bulk of the curtain to the left side so that you've only got a small section here by the machine to run through. So might in the other corner in Pull the strings free and pin. Oops, stop. Okay, so machine head is taken, again holding it firmly, going over your pins, and both rows and then sew down each side making sure you keep the knotted end with the knot clearly concealed and the pull cord ends with the strings free and you just machine down there to neaten off. Generally um, you need about four spaces between each hook so that would be about nine hooks to a width. I'm going to show you a couple of alternatives to just having a standard pencil pleat heading. Um, there's one type um, which is just a sort of puffy little top that stands up above the top of the tape. So first of all, cut a strip of fabric. You often have bits and pieces left over when you cut off the pattern repeat. Uh, and just make it the length of the curtain heading, uh, sew, up, sew up each end of the tape, so sew up either end of the, of the strip, with this particular puffy top to achieve a maximum puff so to speak, don't press 
along this line or you'll end up with a, a solid crease running down which won't look so good. Trim off the corners, turn through each end of the strip and then pop it into the top of your pencil pleat heading and pin along making sure that you've got both seams together and in a while to save it from sliding and then just machine along okay so machine along top row of stitching making sure the bottom end of the pencil pleat tape is well fixed otherwise you'll have it sliding and not sitting evenly. So here we are now with the little up stand sewn into the top of the pencil pleat tape and the second row of stitching finished on the tape. So you just got a little like that. Of the cottons and then pull up your pencil pin tape. So here you are now with your pencil pleat heading with the up stand. It's just worth mention that if you're unsure of how to do the gathers to make sure they're evenly spaced. If you just pop a pin at the midway point between each individual width of curtain, then you'll be able to roughly see that you've got the centre in the centre. So turn it over and then just puff this up over the top of the heading tape. So it just gives a an interesting little effect. This is quite quite a fun treatment for children's bedrooms for instance. Uh, if you pick out the top of the curtain contrast in a in a bright fun colour or in the kitchen where you might have a plain fabric and perhaps do a contrasting top in an alternative colour. So there you are a little puffy top on your pencil plate heading.